This little sweetie is baby Curlew and his mummy died as a result of a dog attack. And unfortunately this orphan season we're seeing a large number of babies coming in for that very same reason. So what happens is um, either doggies are out at night in people's yards or people let them out to go and go to the bathroom and then you know, there might be a, a feed tree in the yard or a bat might be flying past and uh, dog does what dogs do and jump up and grab bat and usually that's the end of mum but it's quite often at this time of the year a little bubby on mum. So we just ask people to think about that and perhaps you know if you know that you've got bats in your yard visiting your yard you could maybe put your dog on a lead to take it out to the bathroom at night or contain your dog so that it doesn't have access to the yard in some way. Like Daisy sleeps in the house at night and she's happy doing that and we're happy because we know exactly where she is. Because the end result is this and then you know we have to hand raise and that's not not the best scenario apart from the fact that mum has passed away um, this little bat doesn't get what he really needs which is his, his natural mother you know we can only do so much as human surrogates but we'll never be as good as a, as a bat mother mm, he's doing really well now Curly he got off to a pretty rough start he's a slow growing little fellow he's starting to catch up a little bit now and she you did get off to a rough start though yeah, so just remember if you hear a persistent calling or crying, if you live in Australia, um, please go and have a look. Don't touch, but if you find a little one of these hanging in your tree or on the ground or could be anywhere really, hanging on your garden furniture, please um, give one of the local bat organisations a call and we can come and safely and humanely rescue that poor little, poor little bat and give it a second chance at life.